Welcome to video tutorial 14 and um, we're going to be starting the arms so these are the arms for the bunny and also for the elephant and the teddy bear um, so we're going to go through them I'm not going to show you the full arm because all of it is techniques that we've already covered um, but I'm going to get you started just to show you through um, the magic circle again and to get you started so our pattern says arms make two so we'll be making two exactly the same and it said on the bunny pattern it says for Reggie and Rosie make one arm in each colour. If you're making the standard bunnies or the elephant or the bear you'll just be making two in your main colour. Our first line is magic circle six double crochet stitches. So for this part we're going to need our crochet hook, our wool and our stitch marker and our pattern. So we'll get started. So I will run through this a little bit quicker because we've done it before. If you want to see this in more slow motion, um, then you can pop back and have a look at the magic circle at the beginning. So we're getting our slip knot. It's just a reminder so you know what to do. And then six double crochet stitches in the loop. One. Two. Three. four, five, six. So now if you remember we're going to hold the base, tug on the loop, see which one will pull. Ah, it's that one. So pull it until the other loop has vanished and then when it has we let go of the loop and pull the end, still holding the base very firmly for our magic circle. And then we're going to pop our stitch marker on so we'll pop that on the last stitch, just on the front half of the V. Then pop our hook back in. And then we're going to do um, our next line, which is, let's see, increase times six. So it's a very similar start to, um, what well, the exact same start as for the, uh, the bunny legs. So we're going to do six increases, which if you remember is going twice into each stitch. So that line there is just where we began. So that is our first stitch. And remember you can count backwards if you're not sure. So we're going to do six increases, which if you remember is two stitches in each stitch. So one, two, and we're going to go into our next stitch, three, four, next stitch, five, six, into our next stitch, seven, eight, and then to our fifth stitch, we're going to do stitches nine and ten. And then in our sixth stitch, our last one where the marker is, we're going to do number 11 and number 12. So we now have 12 stitches. And if you remember, we just count the Vs to double check. So still make sure you're double checking at the end of every single round. I know it's boring, I know, but it's the best way to keep on track without having to pull out and repeat. So we've placed our marker on our last stitch. And the next line of our pattern, round three, is telling us to do three double crochets, then an increase. Be really careful you don't get the decrease and the increase mixed up because they do look so similar. Um, and when you're concentrating, it can be uh, tricky and you can easily get them mixed up. So we're doing three double crochets, then an increase. And we're going to repeat that three times. So we're going from 12 stitches up to 15 stitches. So let's do that. So three single double crochets. One, two, three. And then the next stitch we're going to do an increase. And then we're going to repeat again. So three single double crochets. One, two, three. And then an increase and count as you go along if you want. So that would be 10 and then it would be 11, 
12, 13. And our last one, it stitches 14 and 15. So we know we've got 15 stitches, which is correct. That's what it says on our pattern. So we're moving our marker again. There we go. So we've got our 15 stitches. So we've completed line three already. Let's pop up to line four. Our lines four to ten is 15 double crochet stitches. So for lines four all the way through to ten, so that's seven complete rounds, we're going to be doing one double crochet in each stitch. So don't forget you're going round seven times in total and moving your marker seven times. Now we'll just have a look at what the next part is and explain it and then I'm going to leave you to carry on and make the rest of the arm up to the end. Line 11 will be three double crochets and then a decrease. So very similar, we're going to do three double crochets like we did in the last round. But instead of an increase, we're then going to do a decrease, which if you remember is catching the front two loops and double crocheting them together. If you're not sure, you can go back a few videos and find the decrease and that will show you again how to do that. Line 12, 13 and 14 is a single double crochet in each stitch. Line 15 is four double crochets then a decrease twice. So you're going to be doing four double crochets then a decrease, four double crochets then a decrease and that'll take you down from 12 stitches to 10. 16, 17 and 18, it's just one double crochet in each stitch. So you're going around three times with one in each stitch. And then it says not to fasten off yet to stuff. So what I'm going to leave you to do in this video is to carry on and complete the arm up to the end of line 18 and then stop. The next video I will show you how to fasten off and stuff it and close the arm. So don't attempt that yourself, just get to the end of line 18 and I will see you there in a moment.